Well, what if we are given a function and its inverse? How do we know that they are truly inverses of each other? Well, we're going to verify the inverse by using the property that we just talked about that said, if I compose a function with its inverse, I should get back x. And then I have to go in the opposite direction, so I have to check it both directions. If I have the inverse, I compose it with the function, I should also get back x. And that's how you verify the inverse of these two functions. So we're going to start over here on this side. I have the function g that I'm going to compose with its inverse at x, and I'm going to determine whether or not that equals x. So I take the function g of x, which looks like 4 times something plus 9. And inside of this, inside of this set of parentheses right here, I'm going to replace it with g inverse of x, right? Because I'm evaluating g at g inverse. So this becomes x minus 9 over 4. Now don't let that fraction bother you, because watch what's going to happen. If I have 4 times this fraction plus 9, the 4 on the outside cancels with the 4 in the denominator there, leaving me with just x minus 9 plus 9, because I'm removing those parentheses. So x minus 9 plus 9 is in fact just x, which equals the x that I'm supposed to come out with. So if I compose g with g inverse, I get x. Now let's make sure that it works in the opposite direction. So this time, I'm going to start with the inverse function and compose it with g of x and see if that comes out to be x. So this time, g inverse is the fraction. So I have some x minus 9 over 4. So inside of this set of parentheses, I'm going to replace it with g of x or 4x plus 9. So I have 4x plus 9. And when I remove those parentheses and simplify the numerator, I get 4x plus 9 minus 9, which is just 0, all over 4. My 4's cancel, and that leaves me with x, which is the x that I was supposed to come out with. So it works not only in, the, um, in one direction, but it also works in the opposite direction over here. And that's how we verify whether or not a function and its inverse are, are truly um, inverses of each other.